Welcome back to a new video. Today, I don't really have much of a plan for this one. All I know is Loophole 3 just came out and I'm gonna cook up with those sounds, see if I can make something. I'm thinking maybe something based around Travis's next album, see if I can come up with something I think would sound good on that, but I'm not really too sure. We're just gonna get into it and see what happens. Okay, so I've got loophole three loaded up. I'm just gonna go through the sounds, see if I can find something. Um, yeah. I like that a lot, that's hard. I don't wanna quantize it too much because I wanna keep somewhat of a natural feeling. So I'm just gonna kind of move it so it, you know, it's, it's slightly closer to the, to the bars that it should be on, but I'm not gonna go exact so what i've done there is invert it what i'd normally do is just bounce it as it is and then chop the audio but it's actually much easier if you just uh invert it so you can go up here and then flip which is alt y so you press alt y it's even quicker and it flips it um so that's the flipped version so then when i bounce that to audio and click reverse it's going to just do it straight away it's hard to explain but it'll be in the right order straight away without having to chop the audio up. So I got this sounding kind of good now. I did quite a few effects, some reverb. I thought I was gonna use this as like the main sound, but I'm gonna put some chords, maybe some synth keys underneath it, which can be the main sound. This can be kind of like a textural element. Let's bring it up a few semitones. Three. I want to do a few passing notes and stuff, so I'm just going to find another key type sound, I think. Maybe a lead, I'm not too sure.
So I'm thinking this is like an intro type thing. And then we're going to switch it into like a hard, a more hard, simple beat. That's a bit more empty with more room for the artist. In this instance, it would be Travis to jump on. We'll go make this unique and then pitch the keys up an octave. So it builds in a little bit. Pattern one, we can take out the bass or no pattern one. We're going to take out the keys completely. I think pattern two is want to add one more little extra uh, melodic element and then we'll move on to the switch up and the drums. Let's try the vocal. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that's it. So I'm thinking maybe we take this first little ARP thing we had and just loop it. I think what I'm gonna do instead is bounce the key sound the high pitch version, so this one, and reverse it, play around with that instead.
Okay, so that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.